Built in the Victorian times, the location we find ourselves in for today's video comes with a dark history. It has taken on several forms over the years. More recently, it was home to a gentleman who worked for the National Fire Service and some of his personal belongings can be seen in the farmhouse to this day. But during the early 1800s, the place was known as the Joiner's Arms, a beer house run by a lady named Anne Wayne, who, with her husband James, would serve jugs of beer to the local men. Behind their house they had a small holding of nine acres of land on which they kept some milk cows as a way to make extra money. James Wayne died in 1838 and Anne continued to run the beer house after her husband's passing. In 1862, then aged 79, Anne was living at the farmhouse alone. Her character was described at the time as being thrifty economical and eccentric, and there was a widespread belief that she had hoarded and hidden a large sum of money in her home. Four local men who heard these rumours made a plan to break into Anne's home while she was sleeping and search for a hidden fortune. The night of the 10th of November 1862 was cold with sleet and snow falling. Joseph Ward, Anne's neighbour from the local workhouse, came round about eight o'clock as he always did to milk the cows and close her shutters. He left her alive and well. However, when he went round between six and seven o'clock the following morning, again as he always did, he was surprised to see no light in the house. The shutters remained closed and the house was unexpectedly silent. He became alarmed when he encountered some obstruction inside the front door, which prevented him from opening it. He went round the back of the house and found that a window had been prized out of the wall. Alerting another neighbour, together they went back to the house, climbing through the open window. They called out to Anne, but having no reply, they went upstairs to her bedroom, where they saw her. She had been tied to the bed frame and was all bloody about her head. She was cold and it was obvious she was dead. Anne was lying on her back. Her wrists were tied to the bed. The bedclothes were all tangled and thrown about. Her face was covered by a woolen shawl. Two handkerchiefs were tied tightly around her mouth, holding in place a gag to prevent her from shouting out. Police arriving at the scene observed that her home had been ransacked and noticed a clock which had stopped at 17 minutes past two. Suspecting that Anne's rumoured fortune was the reason behind the attack, he thought that one of the intruders might have searched inside the clock to see if her money was hidden there and had disturbed the pendulum. The post-mortem examination was conducted and it was found that she had sustained heavy blows to the face. These blows may have rendered her unconscious, but death resulted from suffocation from the gag which had been forced into her mouth and held in place by a shawl wound around her head. The four men were caught by the police and confessed to their horrific crime. They had tied Anne down, beaten her until she told them where her fortune was hidden, which they found inside her pendulum clock. Their spoils amounted to 15 gold sovereigns and another three pounds in silver. They were found guilty of Anne's murder and were sentenced to death by hanging. Anne Wayne was buried beside her husband. Her grave, probably marked with only a wooden cross, cannot now be traced. The Joiner's Arms Beer House later became the Setter's Arms Pub. Eventually, the trading licence ceased and the property became a family home, which brings us back to the present day. Let's take a look around this historic location and see what remains. Welcome back guys to Exploring with Bex. We're an abandoned farmhouse. Um, this place has got some history to it. A historic murder happened here. So I'll pop all the details in as usual. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what this one's got in store for us. 
exploring with Jonah's over there, sorting his bag out. Let's take a look inside. Straight into the kitchen. So messy and abandoned, but it's under ownership. Yeah, we're not here to vandalise anything. We're just uh, documenting the history. We have the sink here. That would have been on a on a stove. Oh, in the fridge. Any savadeds in this one? No, just a creepy squeak. Severed head free. <laughs> Severed head free. Oh, it smells though. Look at the old floor. Yeah, all right, let's see what we've got. I'm loving this wallpaper. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> one of them head things. They feel nice, them though. Yeah. Some photos. Teddy bears. That's creepy as hell. I love it. Some more pictures here. Black Bullocks Farming Farming Notebook and Creepy Company Book Interesting Maybe this was the uh, gentleman who lived here Single uh, sewing machine, uh, Sing a machine. Yeah. So, uh, I thought that said Mardi but it says Milady <laughs> Some, uh, some knitting bits and bobs in there. Oh, wow, yeah. Let's have a little look. That is an old sewing machine, wow. What do you think that were? A heater, maybe? A bit of a heater? I'm not sure. I've got uh, some old tins up there. Some books over that way. Flies. Yeah, flies. <laughs> Old school desk. Lift up, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember desks like that. <laughs> Look at that. That's a road outside. Could have been the... Oh, we got a piss pot. We got a piss pot. Piss pot. What's this one? Aberdeen postcard. Oh yeah, that that is another nice fireplace. We are blessed with fireplaces today. Yeah. The old cabinets. Some books in there. Magazines. Stiletto. That is a high stiletto. Oh, the old iron look. <laughs> Put it on your stove, wouldn't you? Heat it up. Yeah, that's heavy, that as well. It is. Wash basket. Book of the road. Biscuit tin. Oh wow. Alien. Oh yeah, that's a cool little deal. Actually, it looks like one of the ants from it does the film yeah. Ants. Ants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this this staircase look. Oh wow. And stair lift there. But that's yeah. Oh the sun's bright in there. Let's have a little look down here. Some Oh, history smell. Wow. Magazines, four times. Dead Hedgehog. 
Oh no! Maybe it's just asleep. Yeah, I hope it's just asleep. Poor Sonic, no. <laughs> Not touching it either. Some butter dish. Some crockery. Auto, auto car from uh, 1964. Another photo there. Could have been the guy who lived here. Yeah. Okay, oh, men's aftershave lotion. I wonder if it still smells. Gotta have a go. Oh, it does. Yeah. It does. There's a smell. Little one. Oh, yeah. Faint, faint smell, yeah. <laughs> It's probably changed a couple of miles well, hasn't it? Yeah, it could have done. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Little thermos flask up there. Lamp pots. An onion. An onion. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, let's keep going downstairs first and then... Oh, that sun is so bright. It really is. I've got some tyres. Christmas car. Ha! Bed on bunch. car bits. Lights. With the front door there. That would have been your entrance. And then it's way to the. Wow, yeah, the oh, living room. Look yeah. at this. So instant church. That is a nice dresser. Yeah. Little fire pokers and. Keep on the yeah. Nice. Little cat bed something. over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wee. You're getting attacked by uh, wildlife. A little fly, yeah. Another dresser over here. This little bowl. Spider webs. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm liking this one. Actually, yeah, the old beams I still. Touch the yeah. And I'm small. <laughs> yeah, we're not tall people. <laughs> Books, furniture, Hoover there. Is it Hoover? Hoover. It's so. a nice chair, isn't it? Carpet washer cleaner. Yeah. Thing. All right, back this way. All. Uh, We'll head up stairs. Oh, stairs have gone there. <laughs> Careful where you put your feet. Oh, yeah. Well, they're creepy chairs. Creepy chairs. Wow. <laughs> that one a bit less creepy. Yeah, I'm going to need the light in here. Thank you. <laughs> Suitcase, some shoes. Just a little bedroom, this one. Your old newspapers on the floor, see so if you can find a, the date. We've got May 1985 on that one. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Let's have a look. Next room. Oh, we've got the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm being careful where I'm standing. Got another piss pot. A bottle of old spice. Oh, don't. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Butterfly wings, lots of those. And the old airing cupboards there. I'm not trusting this floor very well, so yeah, we'll uh, move on to the next one. Proper wooden doors, aren't they? Lovely. Oh, 
creepy chair city in this place. Let's check. Yep, yep. It feels okay. Another nice fireplace. Old clothes still left behind. Shoes. So yeah, not too much in this one. Some beds. Yeah, <laughs> Knocking around somewhere. Right, let's check this one out. Oh, we've got a bed in this one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Some more clothes. Apron stays, I think. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh wow! The old bed. The mould all coming through the ceiling there. The light shade's still there. More, more clothes. More creepy chairs. Yeah, I ain't going over that way. Saw the estate. Let's have a look at these pictures. Oh yeah, I think this was um, a fireman lived in this house. So here we've got the old fireman's uniform jacket there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's clearly been staged on it, this setup, but Good the old cheap. photos, children there. This one. Farming picture. A beautiful view. Yeah. It looks like an original, well, an old photo of the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Some slippers. I know it's wind, but that door just moved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's covered in bird poop, so I'll not touch that handle. Back out of here, and we've just checked out. Bathroom that way. Creepy chair room. And then back down the spiral staircase. So there you go, that was uh, this abandoned farm. Um, yeah, some nice, nice stuff in there, some interesting bits, so it was definitely worth having a drive out to check it out. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one.